I'm Brenda, and welcome to Nana's Hidden Apron. This morning, um, I'm going to make, well, I'm not going to make it this morning, but uh, this morning I am going to uh, put some beef in the slow cooker and fix a little uh, veggie soup. It will be keto friendly. So, uh, let's get this started. have about a quarter of an onion that I'm going to slice up and dice it up kind of thin. I'm using uh, the baby carrots. I say keto, but I'm just going to tell you it's going to be a bit of a dirty keto, okay? Uh, this is some of the beef that we got when we did our Costco haul. I have rosemary. I have parsley. I have some uh, pink Himalayan salt some organic vegetable broth. Um, I'm going to put some green beans in there. All I had left was some canned green beans, so that's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to put some um, kitchen bouquet. My mother-in-law told me probably hmm, 30 years ago about kitchen bouquet and what a wonderful thing it is and how you can use it to make gravy and all these other cool things. But uh, for right now, I'm gonna, I've already got my carrots washed, and uh, they're the baby carrots, like I said, so they'll, they'll cook down nice. And I'm just going to go ahead and, there you go, you heard that, dump it in. <laughs> go ahead and dump that right on in there to the crock pot, and uh, I'm going to slice this onion up small. Pieces. Tom's not that big of an onion fan, so I try to do this in small dices for him. Okay, considering it's got carbs in it and the carrots have carbs in it, let's say this is going to be our unketo day. I am happy to say that Tom has lost 10 pounds since we started keto two weeks ago. Um, I have lost 10 pounds also. So yay us. You go ahead and put this in the crock pot. But by the time those onions cook down as, as small as I diced them, um, he'll, honestly, he'll be fine. He'll be fine with it. He, he won't mind so much. And, uh, let's see here. Let's get, this is a, when we get our beef, uh, I either slice by hand or, or get the slice, the, get my slicer out and uh, slice up these these big pieces of beef that we get from Costco. So, and then Tom uses the vacuum sealer on them. Uh, you can tell it was a nice cut of, of beef. So I'm going to go ahead and put this uh, in the crock pot there. And now I'm going to wash my hands off. And, uh, let's see here. I am going to pick you guys up. Hold on just a second. Okay, now, you can see what I'm doing next over here. Um, you know, I just have a small crock pot, a Hamilton Beach crock pot. I've had it for several years now. It, uh, Suits us just fine. It's just Tom and I, so. And we'll have this leftover. We can have lunch tomorrow with it. He can take some to work with him. But I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put about two cups of this broth in there. Now, you don't want to put all of it in there. You want some of the juices from the beef itself to come out. Uh, you know, into into this the stew so um there's what we look like so far and i'm gonna set you guys back over here well i'm saying back over here but i'm actually gonna set you over here so you can see what else i'm doing hold on all righty there we go now pink himalayan salt i'm just gonna do a 
got eight twists on that. And next will be parsley flakes. I'm going to do half a teaspoon of that. I just got these. I just got these measuring spoons off of Amazon. I love them. They fit so perfectly down in these spice jars. Uh, I love the long handle. And it's got so many, so many different uh, measurements. See, I forget that it has the half, uh, half a teaspoon one. So I'll switch over to it now. I'm going to put um, half a teaspoon of, look how, look how that fits in there. Isn't that wonderful? Half a teaspoon of rosemary. Sprinkle that in there. Look, let me show you guys something. This is the tablespoon one. It won't fit. But, from the teaspoon on down, it fits in these perfectly. Uh, before, I was just using my little round, you know, your, your typical right here. I was using these before. And I like these. I've had these for years. <laughs> But they just wouldn't work right with these uh, spice jars that I made up. So, it had to go away. Okay, now, with the uh, kitchen bouquet, I'm going to do one tablespoon. If you haven't tried kitchen bouquet, you really should. Now, I'm just going to rinse the uh, spoon out with a little bit more of this veggie broth here. Uh, but if you haven't, if you haven't used kitchen bouquet in your beef recipes before, you can use it in the other recipes too. But especially for your beef recipes, you really should give it a try. It's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, I'm going to put a tablespoon of tomato paste in here. That way we don't go overboard. I like using this. Uh, you know, to measure it out on my own because, you know, I, I don't need, even when I buy the small cans of tomato paste, I don't need that much of it, you know, I don't. And uh, I've tried putting it in, in uh, freezer bags, you know, the leftover and, and, and freezer containers, and I always forget it's in the freezer. And what do I do? Grab another one and open it up, right? <laughs> we know that's what we do. Um, I am going to wait to put these in there, but I'm going to go ahead. I will drain the juice off of them. I don't want that in there. Uh, but we're going to let this go ahead and cook on high for about four hours. And then I'm going to turn it down and just uh, to, to low because uh, it's going to be late this evening before we get back home. Uh, Tom, I don't know if I told you guys or not that Tom hurt himself again. Um, at work. Some tires fell on him. He works at a ATV shop. Uh, not really a shop, it's a warehouse here in town. And uh, as he was, he's a forklift operator, and when he was unloading some tires or something like that, one of them fell on him. And uh, those ATV tires, they're nothing to joke about, they're pretty heavy. But anyway, he's in a sling again. And he starts his physical therapy today. So when he gets off work, he's going to do his physical therapy. And then we're going to go to the grocery store. And then we're going to come home. And then that's when we'll have our uh, veggie soup. And uh, I'll get a few pictures of it when it's finished. Uh, get his thoughts on it. It's not like he hasn't had my veggie soup before. But anyhow, he's also wanting, he said last night, I would like to have some kind of dessert um, and can you hear the birds outside cool but uh you probably hear my dryer in the background too though so um but i'm gonna i'm gonna fix something for him keto for dessert he deserves it <laughs> all right y'all take care have a good day and a good morning to you by the way, if you haven't subscribed yet, I, I, I hope that you will. Um, just click my dinner bell, click the, the bell, it'll be in this area. And uh, just, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. 
and by subscribing you'll get notifications each time I have a new vlog put on. Right now it's just a jumble of everything. Um, things we're doing here at the house, things I might be making, food. Um, visit my Facebook page at Nana's Hidden Apron and also uh, we have a travel page called KY Travelers. We're going to go on a cruise here before long. We love to cruise. Get an, uh, my brother and sister-in-law going to go along with us. But anyway, back to this. Um, here we go. There's what we have. Y'all see that? There's what we have going on in there. And uh, for now, I'm just going to say have a good day. And uh, thank you all so much. And I'll see you later. Bye.